Hello and welcome to uh, November's Mayor's Blog here from City Hall. Uh, here we are on this cold, uh, blizzardy day. Uh, hopefully you are staying warm. It's been a very busy week as we gear up for the holidays. Uh, but looking back a little bit, uh, I want to just take a moment to thank everyone who helped with our recent election. Uh, so we had record turnout here in the city for our election that occurred. Uh, a lot of people work hard to make sure that we have a uh, accessible, fair, secure election. We have a lot of election workers, a lot of people out in our precincts who help us do that. Uh, I want to say thank them for their work. Thank you. A huge thank you to our clerk's office for all of their work. Uh, and then a congratulations to all of the individuals who won their election or their re-election. Uh, there's going to be a lot of change in Lansing uh, here locally uh, around our county commission board as they added a couple seats. So we have some new folks who will be serving at the county level. And then here at the city commission, uh, we'll have three new commissioners who will be joining our body starting in January. So congratulations to them. We're spending a lot of time making sure that we have a smooth transition uh, with the number one priority to make sure that we are continuing to provide good service to all of you as we work through uh, the transition and welcome in new commissioners. Another thing from uh, last uh, a couple weeks ago is that we paused to honor our veterans uh, and paused for Veterans Day, uh, but we also were able to take a moment to celebrate the groundbreaking of a really cool project happening over by Veterans Park. So we have a little building there, it's a historic building, uh, and it will soon be transformed into a coffee shop and a Veterans Focused Creative Center. So I'm really looking forward to that. Want to give a shout out to Has Heart. They've worked with the city and the Downtown Development Authority for a number of years to make this project a reality. So I'll look forward to having them open in the spring and having a cup of coffee with them to celebrate. Um, a few other things here at City Hall. Uh, we've had um, some busy days as we've worked through uh, a number of projects. I'm excited to say that we recently supported two housing projects uh, over on Ann Street and Plainfield. We know that housing is so critical in our community. And then at our last commission meeting, we had a public hearing for two really exceptional projects over in the uh, third ward, and that is uh, Amplify. So their uh, request for support for a project that includes uh, uh, early child care center, a community center, um, some incubator space. Uh, so that was, that public hearing was last week. That'll come back before the city commission uh, in December to vote on. And then we also had United Methodist Community House. They're working on a mixed use development that incorporates uh, low income and affordable housing for seniors. So we're excited to see that project move forward as well. Um, and then just a couple things left. <clears throat> a lot of exciting things happening as we enter the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, one, I just want to say I hope you find time to slow down and connect with family uh, and to really reflect on all that you are grateful for. Uh, I know there is much to be grateful for, even though there are challenging days that we have and struggles that we have. Uh, we have challenges here in our city that we're facing. Uh, there's still a lot to be thankful for, uh, and I continue to be grateful to be able to serve uh, as mayor of our incredible city and to help us move forward, but also try to solve some of these complex community issues. Uh, and then I'll end with two upcoming fun events. Uh, we have the Santa Parade that is back after a little bit of a hiatus. So that will be Saturday right here downtown, kicking off at 10 a.m. with some celebrations over at Rose Park Circle. So I hope you bundle up and come on downtown and uh, you know get in the holiday spirit. Uh, and then next week on Thanksgiving, the annual Turkey Trot will be downtown. I believe they're on their 30th anniversary. So this is a, a time to come together and do a 5K. You can walk or you can run. Uh, kicks off at 8.30 down at Van Andel Arena. Uh, and it raises money to support our Grand Rapids Public Schools. So that's another way to, to give back to our community uh, and to have a little fun. So with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of this week. Please stay warm, stay safe. Give yourself some extra time as you're out there driving on the slippery roads, um, but also just enjoy the changing of the seasons. Uh, we're a four-season city, and I hope that you love it and embrace it as much as I do.